Today we're going to review part number P2281L. This is the Putco High Power 9 LED Luminex Off-Road Light Bar with the license plate mount and it's 27 watts and 15 degree spot pattern on the light bar. Now this was designed to fit the Jeep Wrangler starting in 2007. It is also designed as a universal item that could fit on a vehicle that would have a front license plate bracket that this would attach to. The part includes everything shown here on the table, the light bar, the license plate bracket, wiring harness, an illuminated switch, and a nice set of detailed instructions. This light bar is a low profile LED light bar, it delivers a bright focus light. The pattern it gives off is a 15 degree spot beam and that's created by the chrome backed focus lenses. It's a very high quality light output from a single row of nine 3 watt Nikia LEDs. These are quality LEDs with a 50,000 hour lifespan. The light bar does have built-in safeguards, uses thermal control chips to help prevent the LEDs from overheating, and it has over and under voltage protection, which keeps the light bar operating at the correct voltage. It's a durable, waterproof, corrosion-resistant construction. This light bar is a black anodized alum billet aluminum housing, which is lightweight and rust-proof. And the LEDs themselves are fully potted to protect any fragile components. And it does use an industry standard protection against dust and moisture. It's a very easy installation with the, all these included parts. Basically this license plate mounting bracket would mount on the front of the vehicle. And then your light bar, what's already installed you can see on here, is below your license plate. And this light bar can be removed if you like. The mounting hardware on the side, you just it's got rubber caps on it, but you just unscrew those and you can pop that off if you'd like. <clears throat> now the wiring harness that comes with it has the relay and it has three sets of wires coming out. One set of wires would be the three pigtails with the female connectors on it, and that's for attaching your illuminated switch to. Now I am going to hook this up in a minute to show you how everything hooks up and show you the bright, the, how bright the light is and the pattern it gives off. Now the other set of wires that comes off is a Deutsch connector, and basically that's your plug-in for your light bar. And what's nice about that, it has the triple seal, so when you go to push this in, it's very stiff, Gives you a nice weatherproof seal, clips, locks into place, and to remove it, just push down and pop it out. And the other wires coming out are the power and ground wires. The red is your power, you can see with the eyelid on it. Black is your ground. And you can see on the power wire, it does actually include an inline fuse, 15 amp fuse, to protect your light bar. <clears throat> now, this part is made in the USA. A few specs. The light bar has the nine LEDs at three watts each, so that's 27 watts. The power draw on the light bar is 2.25 amps. Input voltage is 12 volts to 36 volts DC, and the operating temperature range for it is minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. It does come with a limited two-year warranty. The light output brightness is 3,600 lumens, and again the beam is a narrow 15 degree spot and the color temperature of the light it gives off is 6,000 degrees Kelvin. The dimension on just the light bar, the overall length, is going to be right at 11 and a half inches. The height of just the light bar is one and a half inches, and then the depth of it is right at three quarters of an inch. Now on the bracket itself, <clears throat> it is going to be 12 inches long, and the overall height to the very bottom, to the very top, is going to be seven and three quarter inches tall. And the mounting slots are your standard seven inches center to center, like most license plates are. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and hook this up. I got a 12 volt power supply here. So what we're going to do is let's plug in the light bar and plug that in. Then the other set of wires, we're going to attach the, now the, direct, the directions will show you all this, but the three wires coming out are red, blue, and black. And then on the illuminated switch, there's three tabs numbered one, two, and three. So the instructions will tell you number one gets the red. The middle, number two, will get the blue. And the number three on the end will get the black. There we go. Got the illuminated switch all hooked up. And then last we'll hook up the power. So we'll take the red, which is your power wire. <clears throat> hook that to our power. And we'll take the black, which is the ground. We'll hook that up. OK. 
Okay. And I'll go ahead and turn on the 12 volt power. We'll go ahead and turn off our overhead lights. And what I'm going to show you is we'll push the rocker switch on the illuminated switch. Right here you can see the red illuminated switch right here in my hand. That's a rocker switch. So if you push it off, on, you can see it's illuminated. And then here's your nine LEDs. Your license plate would be right up here. And let me just sort of rotate this, give you an idea. It's going to be hard to see the pattern. But you can sort of see the narrow 12 or 15 degree spot pattern that these lights would give off. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn the switch off. Go ahead and turn on our overhead lights. Turn off our power. But that should do it for the review on part number P2281L, the Putco High Power 9 LED Luminex Off-Road Light Bar with the license plate mount, 27 watts and 15 degree spot pattern.